everyone. Camera's okay at the back. Raise your hand if you've got a question, we'll come to you. Hello. We'll kick off with Nick Callow from Haters. Hi. How are your nerves at the end there? Uh, I was praying uh, so many space bodies in our box. Um, it was a really emotional game. Um, very tough place to come, obviously. Incredible atmosphere, stadium, and a great team to play against. 3 0 up, you are in control of the game. You come in the second half, um, and we're dominating the game and creating chances. And then, yeah, an individual error happens that clicks something. It puts a wrong message in your brain. But I think we started to deal with the situation better. Another one, and then it's game on. And they have the players, and, and they have the courage as well to to put a lot of, and commit a lot of players forward. And, uh, and we have to dig in, suffer, and react. And I'm very pleased the way the team has done it. What were, you, what were your thoughts on, on the error, as you called it? Now, it's part of football. Um, it's the sequence of play. I don't like it. I don't like the principles that we apply. And in in that moment, and the orientation of the ball, and after that, it can happen. You. You misjudge the, the, the situation. You try to make uh, the pass, then you don't, and, and you are in doubt zone. And, um, and they score, they take advantage of that. And the penalties is another principle inside the box that you cannot do. It's part of football. What I love is David does that. He picks guy my hands up, that is quite heavy. And then he was sensational for the last 20, 25 uh, minutes of the game. And this is what I love about uh, our plays. Kai from football. Yeah, maybe you could give me the advice as well of uh, try not to make it hard for yourself. Uh, but um, at the end, you can just uh, pretend to come here and, and don't suffer and have a comfortable afternoon and, and play a space of the park because it doesn't happen and you just have to see the games that I have played against the top teams because they are a, a really good side. Because on that note, was it the plan in the first half to sit as deep as we did or did Spurs sort of force you back in the fourth? No, they forced you. And we had an issue. With the, with the high press, we give so many balls away, simple balls, our ball circulation wasn't good enough. The result has an impact. You are tuning up, and the result is having an impact as well. To feel com more comfortable doing that, we looked a real threat as well. On, on the counters, they commit so many players, so they force you as well with their structure as well um, to have one or two more players in certain areas that provokes you to be a little bit deeper. But um, we're OK that we didn't really concede uh, much there. But um, I think the second half, in certain moments, especially with the ball, was better. What's better for the psychology of the race? Winning 3 0 comfortably or coming through that? I don't know. We're going to make that the second option is a great one. And, uh, and the players can be more convinced. We've done it two years <coughs> in a row here, which is extremely difficult. The manner was different last year as well. We had to suffer in the second half to. Um, to win the game, so um, great. The team has another tool, um, something else to to grab. That is the confidence that uh, big stage. When you have to come to a big stadium, you can go and win it. So good learning. Nick Gordon. Hi. Um, we've talked a lot about Kai Havertz recently, but today we saw a forty-yard pass for an assist, which all got spoke his head for a goal. Are we, are we seeing him unlock more and more parts of his game? It was quite a complete centre forward performance. Uh, he was sensational in every department today. He was. And he wasn't as his hundred percent. He was ill before the match. He was a bit struggling, and still he put the performance that he's put in. I thought he was uh, unbelievable today. Amy, Hazard. You tell after the relentlessness of April and days every three days. What is it about your team that enables you to play like this every week? Well, first of all, how much you want it, how much they want it. Uh, don't feel sorry for yourself. It's part of the journey. It's part of when you are at the at the highest competitive level, you're going to have disappointment. The margin is so small. They're not going to go always for you. And then how you react to that and and face face the challenge, face the opportunity, and uh, and be brave. And I think this team has a lot of courage and, and determination to, to make it happen. You have so much faith. I do have, yeah. The last few minutes, uh, I was doubting a little bit, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I think we were all there. But uh, yeah, they gave me no reason. I said to you before, uh, they're going to be ready for Sunday. They played, as you said, a lot of minutes, a lot of games, emotionally very demanding month. But uh, yesterday, I had to stop it in training because they wanted more. You know, So that's a good sign. OK, last couple now. Um, Karen, you said earlier that the <coughs> players found another tool to help them win the game. Do you sort of think that you know, whatever happens, Shown that they can handle this stage of the season better than last 
I think so. when you win, it's always the case. You know, <laughs> last year we didn't because we went to West Ham and with that result we missed a penalty. And against Liverpool, you consider the 91st, and then you are not capable. So at the end, that judgment is going to be based on the result, not like the outcome. If you if you consider a goal in the last minute and it's 3-3, three, three, then we're not ready. So the margins are so small. So don't get carried about with yourself. Just understand that we have to be better. We want to be better. There are margins for improvement. And go again against Bournemouth. That is going to be really tough. Finally, Sam, Telegraph. Do you see it in the players' eyes that they're going to fight until the very last second, no matter what? Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent. But I've seen that the whole season. And uh, and they give me the, the reason to believe that every single day. And obviously, we are right on it. And motivation and, and what is ahead is, is beautiful. So obviously, we are expecting that they're going to have a real goal. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.